Welcome to Wisconsin Family. I'm Justin Riley. And I'm Jessa Jeremiah. And we have a great show for you today. Gosh, we are here we for the first time at True Laser here in, in uh, the west side of Madison. Yeah, I'm very excited to talk to the folks here because we got an opportunity to chat with them so briefly and it just was like a teaser because there's so much that they offer. Right. And hair removal is a great summer topic. Right, yeah. We were down at a Glow last month down mm -hmm. in Janesville. Absolutely. And uh, they have a location down there. True Laser has a location down there, yep. but then they also have one here in Madison. Yeah. We barely scratched the surface, and they're going to do a demonstration, which I think is really cool. Yes. Uh, because some folks have a little bit of fear about the process, and it's not scary. It's not a scary <laughs> right. process, so we'll have to fight over who gets the demo okay. or how that works. Okay, I don't think but, it'll be uh, much of a fight. You can do it if you like. <laughs> no, I think it's, it's important to know that men can do hair removal, too, so yeah. you never know. We'll have and to in many cases should do hair removal. You know, I didn't want to say anything. <laughs> but, <laughs> no. um, yeah, so we're going to chat with them a little bit later. Some other great guests that we're going to talk to. Baraboo Woodworks is such a cool company. I always love talking with Mike. He's a great guy. Oh, my God. Yeah. It's it's such a unique experience going into their store. A lot of people don't know that they actually have a retail store. You can go they there do. and shop for lumber, but it's not like your typical, you know, hardware store lumber. It's really unique pieces yeah. that are sourced right here in the Madison area. Yeah. And they do all all this great custom work. So. Yeah, they do, they do. They do a nice job. We're also going to be joined by a couple of folks from Dragonfly Hot Yoga and Flight Cycle. They're going to be talking about uh, their different types of memberships for both places because they're both uh, basically part of the same company and how you can kind of get involved in, in both. Yeah, and Flight is just recently opening. Yeah, they're brand new. So I think it's really cool for folks to have an outlet for just Cycle. Right. Us Cycle folks and you people who are new to Cycle too, I think it's a great way to experience it all right there. There, it is so. an it's an awesome way. Awesome so way. we're going to have a lot to talk about. Yes. I'm very excited. You stick around because we're going to be right back with more Wisconsin family here at True Laser in Madison. Welcome back to Wisconsin Family. We are filming here at True Laser here in Madison and not just for women. You folks might want to listen up a little bit later. Absolutely. We're this, gonna is, this is a really cool place because it's actually inside the Princeton Club, which is kind of cool. So yeah. we're really excited to be here. It's a great place. It sure uh, so is. we're going to be uh, talking, uh, talking with them later on in the program. We sure will. And first, we're going to chat with Mike Breezy here. How Hello. are you this morning? Good, thank you. Good to see Good. you again. Good to be here. So glad to have you. So we've chatted with you before. We have to bring you back because you have such a cool business, unique wood pieces. So not only milling, you have a retail shop. Yes. But you also do amazing custom work. So tell folks, give a little background if you sure. would. Uh, Baraboo Woodworks in Madison, Wisconsin. We do, we're a small retail lumber store and we uh, do a lot of custom furniture design and building for people. Yeah, absolutely outstanding pieces. I was looking, perusing your website a little bit more last night and some of the photos that you have on there are just outstanding and inspiring. I've got all kinds of ideas cooking up in my yeah. head of things I want you to make. Right. Oh, so. that tree could be this, and yeah, that tree exactly. could be that. Yeah. So, you know, I've been talking to, ever since you came on our first uh, show, I've been talking to a lot of folks about your business, because I think it's just a really, really cool concept. Can you remind viewers where, where you guys get your wood from? Sure. Uh, we work local, so we think uh, local food, local wood. We're working with uh, uh, arborists nearby, and they bring us logs that uh, people are taking down in like their backyards or on city streets and we're repurposing that into uh, furniture, shelving, uh, cutting boards, almost anything you can think of. Very cool. It's not just repurposing. I mean, you guys, I mean, there's a certain level of skill that comes with that. Oh my too. God. Yeah, that is true. Yeah. That is true. Yeah. We have a couple of artisans that are very skilled at making all kinds of great heirloom pieces. Sure. How, how many how many folks do you have working there that do that kind of thing? Uh, we have two full-time guys, uh, Matt and Josh, and uh, 
then we have a couple uh, part-time guys that help us with the milling part of it. That's so cool. neat. You guys are really like artists too in it, your own craft. I mean, it's really interesting the skill that you need to have to put these pieces they together. They truly are artisans. You yeah. really, I mean, it's really a that's a it's a yeah. definitely a craft. For yes, sure. yeah. Absolutely. Those it takes a lot of uh, work and time to get those tables yeah. to come up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I bet. <laughs> and they're amazing, and they're all one of a kind. So every single piece is unique when you put those yes. things together. Mm -hmm. It's so neat. Um, and let's talk a little bit about the ash trees that are coming down right now. I don't know a lot about this. So this is due to the emerald ash borer, is that yes, right? Yes, that is correct. Uh, so in Madison, much like back in the 60s and 70s with the Dutch elm disease, mm -hmm. where all the Dutch tree, uh, elm trees were dying, right. in Madison and actually east, uh, the emerald ash borer is uh, attacking all the ash trees. So that's okay. why in Madison you'll see a lot of trees coming down on the streets. Um, uh, so what we're doing is we're working with um, the city a little bit and Arbor is taking down ash trees and we're uh, making a lot of different neat things about with ash. Uh, right now we're seeing uh, countertops instead of quartz and stone and granite. Um, there's a little bit of movement with uh, going to wood countertops. That's so neat. And with and ash we can do that because it's say, really hard wood. Yeah, ash has sort of a unique texture, correct? Uh, a lot of, yeah, I mean, people think of it as like a straight grain for tool handles and baseball bats, but there's a lot of figure in there we're seeing as we're cutting these trees, and it's just gorgeous wood. That's so fun to have a nice, unique countertop. What a great idea for yeah. that. And, you know, it's it's making great use of, of trees that obviously haven't lived their full lifetime, unfortunately. And I'm, I'm just curious to know, you know, uh, when you're making these wood countertops, I mean, do you, is there like, do you apply lacquer, like coats of lacquer to make it kind of shiny, like uh, you'd see at restaurants and stuff like that? Uh, we can do that. We have okay. a couple different options. We like to use a more uh, a natural uh, color so you can see okay. the wood yeah. itself. Sure, sure, sure. And you don't it doesn't want to look so plastic. Right, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Exactly. I so, feel like you're shopping. Like you've got. I have, some I've ideas got ideas. In your head. I've yeah. got ideas. So, uh, what? Talk to us about some of the other like projects that you guys are currently working on. Yeah, right we now. did a fun one uh, with a reclaimed lumber with uh, barn wood. An old barn came down, so we got uh, barn wood and we made paneling out of it. Oh, uh, cool. It looks really great. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. Very awesome. And okay, so there's a couple things going on that are coming up. Urban Forest Fest. What yes. is this event? Okay, this is going to be uh, July 25th and 26th, Saturday and Sunday, as part of Atwood Fest. Okay. Within Atwood Fest, we're going to have a little Urban Forest Fest where uh, artists uh, working with wood, arborists will be there, local arborists you can talk to will be there demonstrating some uh, projects we've done and just kind of talking about the whole urban wood story. That's really neat. So that's all part of Atwood Fest July 25th, 26th. Yes. So you're doing your whole own wood fest. Ur Correct. What is it called? Urban, urban Forest, Forest Fest. fest. Yeah, that yes. is much better sounding than wood fest. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe that'll be the next event. <laughs> yeah. So really quickly before we go, can you talk to viewers about uh, where you're located and what your hours are? Sure. We're on the east side of Madison. Mm -hmm. uh, we are open Monday through Friday, 9 to 5, and Saturday, 9 to 1. We are on North Bryan Street, which is just off Milwaukee Street on the east side. Such cool. a great place. So you need to go check it out because it's absolutely outstanding. Yes. We're going to put, put you on the spot. No, yeah. I know you want to do that. But yeah. it's, it's such a cool place. Such neat pieces. Go to their website, too, and get some ideas because these guys are absolutely yeah. fantastic. So Mike Breezy of Baraboo Woodworks, thank you so thank much you for, for joining us. And be sure to check out that Urban Forest Fest, and that's going on July 25th and 26th as part of the Atwood Fest. So absolutely. that'll be a really cool thing. Yeah. So, so from unique wood to some unique workout ideas. Yes. We're going to talk to the folks from Dragonfly Hot Yoga and Flight Cycle. That's after the break here on Wisconsin Family at True Laser. Hey folks, welcome back to Wisconsin Family. We are here on location at True Laser on the west side of Madison, just off the Beltline. And we are really excited to be here because we're going to be uh, speaking with Chantel and Christy, I believe, later on. Yeah, in the looking so. forward to it. We got to chat with Christy a little bit uh, earlier about a glow in Janesville. Yes. And they've got this great place here in Madison. They've got one in Janesville as well. Yeah. And uh, we're going to pick their brains a little bit later. Yeah, but first, uh, we're joined by uh, our next two guests are from Dragonfly Hot Yoga and Flight Cycle, which is a cycling 
uh, I guess cycling gym, I guess you could almost call it, uh, that just recently opened up in Madison. I'm joined now by Natalie Koberstein and April Wagner. Thank you so much for joining us Yeah, today. how are you? Good. Good, Good. to have Thanks you here with us. us. Great to have you. So, so Natalie, um, I understand that um, Downtown Dragonfly just opened up. That's exciting. Yes. And you are the new manager, the stu uh, studio manager. Can you tell us where it's located and why downtown is, uh, that downtown Dragonfly is so special? Sure, yeah. So we're located in a brand new apartment building. It's called Ovation 309. I it's know where that is. Yeah, it's right at that cross intersection of State and Johnson. Sure. Um, if anybody eats noodles and company, it's right there. Sure. Um, so we're on the second floor. We've got these amazing windows that look over State Street. We get all this incredible light. Um, it brings this amazing energy. Yeah, I don't know if you guys spot. have been in Madison long, but there's been this revitalization of downtown. Yeah. Yeah, so we so really nice. brought in this kind of like 50s diner vibe. It's wow. still dragonfly with our colors and everything that we stand for, but um, you get kind of this retro feel, which is awesome. Yeah, that that's awesome. so neat. And I love how you kind of took the feel of the area and mm -hmm. infused it into the space. Yeah. I love that. That's great. So you've got some kind of different places that all have a little bit of a different feel. Yeah. So that's awesome. And I am personally a huge fan of Cycle, so I'm excited Yay. to talk about Flight. <laughs> Good. So you guys opened Flight Studio pretty recently. Yes. And now, April, you are the crew chief and studio manager of Flight, correct? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So let's talk a little bit about this. You must have a lot of interaction with the folks who come in and actually are taking these classes, so the clients. Sure. So tell us a little bit about that and just for folks who want to try it out what a first visit might be like. Absolutely. So you walk into the studio and you're just blown away by how cool and fun and bright it is. It is, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and um, you're greeted right away by our desk staff who are, you know, great with, with clients. And they show you the studio and they're with you from check-in to check-out. Mm -hmm. um, we give you your own custom bike fit so that way you know what you're doing when you go into class. And it feels good too and I think that's so important for people who are starting to know right. that it's going to fit your legs and your yes. body and it's not going to be awkward because you guys know how to get them set exactly. up. Exactly, yeah. yeah. So we're there from you from, from entrance to exit and we try to build community and it's really about being there for the clients Yeah, and we're all in it together. So. Well, and for first timers, I think sometimes cycle can be a little overwhelming. Absolutely. Like you think you have to have the right shoes and the right <laughs> shorts and the, you know, all yeah. that stuff. But right. you don't, right? You no, you come. don't. Yeah, you come as you are. Wear your gym clothes. Um, you know, we recommend um, like capri type tight fitting mm -hmm. pants because it's easier when you're moving those feet. Yeah. But, um, you know, come as you are. You know, we accept all sizes and shapes. So. That's awesome. And you have all different age groups there, which age I think is really groups. cool. Yes. You know, it's not just 20 something. We have 14 year olds all the way up to 60 year olds. Yeah. So it's pretty awesome. And then men and women too. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> some diverse classes. Absolutely. And it's fun. I mean, you go in there and you've got the disco ball going, you've got lights timed to the music. I mean, that's yeah. just that's just yeah. so unique. The energy of a cycle class is yes. outstanding. Yeah, it's, it's very cool. I'm so, a little biased. I, I love, love cycling. <laughs> so. <laughs> so, I'm wondering if you can both talk to us a little bit about how membership works at both Dragonfly and Flight. And, um, you know, if, if you're a member of one, do you get a discount at the other? How does that work? Yeah. So I can tell you a little bit about Dragonfly. So we have a few different options. Um, if you're coming to Dragonfly, Dragonfly for the first time, your first class is always free, which awesome. is awesome. Yeah. Um, and then we have a few options in terms of like an introductory month. We've got 10 class passes, 20 class passes. We've got student and senior discounts. Um, and then our full membership, which is $99 per month. And you get unlimited access to yoga, fitness, and our bar. Um, and then it kind of ties in with Flight, because if you're a member at Dragonfly, you get a discount on a full membership at Flight as well. That's, That's great. Cool. Yeah, so and you can get to experience sort of both aspects. Yeah. So if you're a flight or yeah. a cycle lover, you can try out yoga. If you're a yoga yeah. lover, mm -hmm. you can try out cycle. Exactly. Or do both in one day. I mean, it's why a great not? balance. Yeah. We're right yeah. across the street. Overachiever. So. Yeah, right. yeah. <laughs> so this Put my is, money where my mouth is. Yeah, we'll exactly. see. Anyway. <laughs> so you guys have such a unique concept, really, in both places. I want to dive back into flight a little bit just since it's a little bit newer. So sure. talk to us about the name a little bit. Is there sure. a little bit of a meaning behind that and the classes? Absolutely. So flight um, is spelled with a Y as a nod towards dragonfly. With the Y. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, so, our light bulbs just went off. Yeah. <laughs> <There we go. laughs> so um, flight was inspired um, as, you know, we are all in the same journey together in life, which is, you know, it's life. We're all sure. together. Um, so, 
we carry that into the classes with the names. So our first class would be flight school, which is your basic class. It kind of tells you about how you ride the bike and you know what a class is like. And then we have our domestic, which is 45 minutes. We have an international, which is 60, and a commuter flight, which is 30. Um, so it's all tying into that flight type of theme. And you can kind of pick which length you're up for sure. then. Yeah. Or work Absolutely. your way up. Right. Yeah. And I would encourage people to just give them a call to listen to their voicemail <laughs> reading because oh, everything everything has to do with somehow flying or riding in an airplane and things like that. So you got it really all cool tied place. together. Yeah. Really yeah. The cool. website too is so cool. Their yes. pictures are awesome with their titles and yeah. it's very... Um, very unique. That's yeah. awesome. Well, well, great job, ladies. Natalie and April from Dragonfly uh, Hot Yoga and Flight, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Don't go away. We've got more Wisconsin family here at True Laser when we come back. Stay with us. Welcome back to Wisconsin Family. We have been here all episode filming at True Laser here in Madison. And laser hair removal is such a hot topic right now yeah. for women and even more recently men too. So I'm so excited to chat with you guys. First of all, thank you for having us and being such gracious hosts. We have Chantel who works here at True Laser and Christy Newell, CEO of True Laser. And how are you? Good. Doing great. Good Thank you. Thanks yeah. For thanks. Us, I say. Well, yes. Thanks for <laughs> yeah. being here. Yeah. It's been just wonderful getting to chat with some guests, and this is kind of the segment we've been building up to because right. there's a lot to talk to you about. <laughs> so, Christy, let's just start with a little bit of background for folks who don't know a lot about True Laser. Give us some some okay. history and background, if you would. Um, we actually started as a laser, or excuse me, electrolysis clinic back in 1997 in Janesville. Then, um, two years later, added laser hair removal. Um, had the Janesville location, and then a few years later, 2005, joined up with a partner, Michelle, and uh, we opened up a Rockford, Illinois location, and then um, she then purchased into the Janesville location, and then we um, opened up a Madison location in 2007, and we've been here for those eight years then. Gosh, so. and it flies, I bet. Oh yeah. my gosh, it's so, gone so fast. So you've been here eight years, and it's such a great facility. I mean, it's very welcoming, and it just feels very friendly here, which right. I think is yeah. really nice for people who, you know, just haven't experienced hair removal. Sometimes there's a little bit of that fear factor, right, coming in and doing oh, something yeah. different. And I'm, I'm, I imagine that you guys get sort of like the mall effect because you're kind of here in, in the Princeton Club and there's a whole bunch of different businesses that share space with the Princeton Club. You probably get people in here who are checking out other places and then say, oh, you know, what's this? Yeah, I need my hair removed. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, very often. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So talk to us a little bit about what is the actual process for, for hair removal. I mean, how does that, how does laser hair removal work? Well, with laser hair removal there, um, I guess for people that come in for laser removal, there are people come in for about six treatments. Um, usually it's probably anywhere from like 15 to 20 minutes depending on the large area that you get or if people get multiple areas. Okay. Um, I don't know. It's that's not, fast. Yeah, it's very, I very didn't fast. I know it was that quick. Mm -hmm. Sometimes people, it's even faster than waxing. Or I mean, it wow. saves so much time in the morning to not have to shave. Oh, or, no kidding. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Now, and, and you mentioned six, you said six treatments. Mm -hmm. Now, is there, a, is there a reason? Is that a special number, six? Well, we six? need to catch the hair in the inactive growth phase. Okay. So um, usually about, people usually need about six to eight, I would guess. But on the average, I would say it's about six. And does that mean that it's permanent after that? Then after that, you're not going to get too much hair growth in there? <laughs> There's very many factors that contribute to that, um, but it is a permanent reduction. However, you do need to keep it up, I would say. Sure. People come in for maintenance treatments maybe sure. once or twice a year. Yeah. yeah, and I think it's important to note, I mean, you guys get give great results, and people have, I mean, you guys have some amazing reviews out yeah. there. And I think that's just a testament to, you know, how great it works, but mm -hmm. also the folks that you have here. So Chantel is somebody that that you can actually come and work with, right? So um, she's you know, gonna help you kind of walk you through the process. Yeah. Yeah. And that's really important because there's a lot of myths out there mm -hmm. about laser hair removal. So for folks who haven't looked a lot into this or maybe have a little bit of fear, mm -hmm. talk to us about some of those myths and you know, just debunk them for us if you would. Well, I would say it depends on the average person's um, like pain tolerance, but um, I would, it doesn't, it hurts, maybe feels like a light rubber band snap. Um, same with like self-esteem issues. If everyone kind of thinks that they're alone um, for 
hair grow, but it's a very we're common all thing. Yes, <laughs> we're, all hairy. we're mammals. So, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, people just don't talk about it. So, yeah. it's, you know, it's once we can feel comfortable here, and it's a very kind of quick stop and leave without air. So. Yeah, I'm still sort of floored by how quick it is. I didn't realize that those treatment sessions were so short. I figured, mm -hmm. you know, take a day off work, block your oh, schedule. No, no oh, I mean, no. you can come in on your lunch break. And yeah. We <laughs> Are very busy over the lunch hours. So. Yeah, wow, I had no I idea. Yeah. yeah, I would imagine. So, what are some of the your more uh, uh, popular services uh, that you offer here, like skin rejuvenation and things like that? Yeah, it's not just right. hair removal. No, no, no that's what the too. cool thing is about True Laser is we do many different um, skincare treatments, whether it be with a laser or with our microdermabrasion machines, or um, we use all pharmaceutical grade products as well, so chemical peels and that type of thing. Yeah, and because there's such a range of services, you know, a lot of people think of you for hair removal, mm -hmm. but you know, maybe don't know that you do these other things. So let's talk a little bit about some of these services. What do you think would surprise viewers most about the services that you offer? Um, I think what surprised, uh, we had a lot of men um, as, as well, so some people don't mm -hmm. realize too that um, men get kind of nervous coming in here, but I would say maybe 30% of our clientele are men. Um, mm -hmm. Also, you can do it for many different skin types. We do all skin types, so it's safe for, you know, anybody. Okay, so. and I think it's great. We've been talking a little bit about men and hair removal through the, throughout the show, but men, ha I mean, shave daily, mm -hmm. and some of them, I mean, you know, you see the guys that have some pretty hairy backs <laughs> yes. mm -hmm. and may feel self-conscious at right. the beach or at right. the pool. And how what a nice service to offer for those yeah. folks rather than having to shave all the time to just mm -hmm. get that reduction that really gives you results. I think that's great. And I was right. kind of wondering when I walked in, I'm like, gosh, are they looking at my eyebrows? They're not <laughs> judging. But we do not everything but eyebrows. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> no, that that's just great right. that they can they can do something about you know all these different areas of the face, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, but the one area that we cannot do, believe it or not, is eyebrows. You really? are not oh. able to laser eyebrows. Interesting, um, I didn't know that. The reason, but is, just about everything else. Right? Yeah, everything else. Yes, we can. Yeah, so. what is the reason? Well, the reason is the laser, the heat can radiate underneath your skin, and oh. so even though you stay a little ways away from the eyebrows, yeah. you can actually you could lose chunks of your eyebrows. So we don't go there. <laughs> I think that's we, smart. Safety yeah. is huge for Absolutely. Us and, sure. and good results. So. Play it a little bit safe. Definitely. Yes. Yeah. Yes. But I mean, I think a lot of people, you know, just get that self-conscious about their peach fuzz and, mm -hmm. and things on their face. I know even if you um, maybe don't have the thickest of hair, but you've got that dark colored hair yeah. yes. and you get out in the sunlight and you just, you just don't feel that great about it. So right. I think it's nice to be able to remove all that. It yes. is amazing. You know, I'm from a, from a man's perspective, I'm wondering if you could talk to, talk to us a little bit or talk to viewers a little bit about um, some men that have come in who have maybe never tried it before and were a little nervous starting mm -hmm. out and then, you know, what was their experience coming in and then what were they saying when they came out? Um, I think most men have like those horrifying um, memories of getting waxed. <laughs> um, so. They, a lot of, we just saw a lot of t-shirt packages, which is everything underneath a t-shirt. Sure. Um, oh, that's so that's great. very awesome. Or yeah. the ingrown hairs, um, different um, careers inflict sure. that, like police sure. officers with uh, sure, sure. bulletproof badges or things like that. So it's, oh, uh, sure. it's very, I think it saves a lot of time and a lot of pain for them. Sure. Well, that's just it. If you, you're kind of, you know, going through a little bit of a process up front mm -hmm. to save all this time and sometimes pain with waxing and things mm -hmm. for the long term, mm -hmm. right? And I think that's why it's becoming so incredibly mainstream right. is yeah. because it's just such a time saver. Yeah. Do you have, I mean, do you have any stories about, about men who've come in here and it just felt really good coming out or in particular? Or are they yeah, all pretty much just We're like, not going to name names. Oh, right. Right. Yeah, I mean, I remember <laughs> having a guy that he wouldn't even go swimming with his kids in his swimming pool that really? he had. He was nervous to do that. Um, and we got his whole t-shirt done and it, it goes to be from very fine and very scattered and he hardly even had to deal with it then. It was ah, just kind awesome. of a life changer for mo most people. Yeah. Co what a confidence boost. Yeah, right. definitely. Okay. That's the so self great. self-esteem thing is big. To it see is. people change and just see that confidence built up yeah. is so cool. Men and women. Yeah. And that's doing it, really I mean, for all the right reasons for yourself just to have that extra yeah. confidence. Mm -hmm. And it's definitely right. one of our favorite parts of our job is oh, to be able yeah. to do that for people. Mm -hmm. I think that's great. Mm -hmm. Well, we could chat with you guys more and we will and <laughs> you'll have us back, I know. So thank you so much for kind of debunking some of those myths and doing a demonstration for folks to check out. We appreciate that. Oh, so, uh, Christy and Chantel from True Laser here in Madison, also in Janesville. And thank you to all of our guests for watching, and thank you. Join us next time on Wisconsin Family. Every day is a new beginning. Shine your light. It's a day.